Hey, yo. 857 and the dreaded zebra stripes, failing LCD, call it whatever you want. So I was on Facebook the other night and somebody asked, um, how can they fix it? And I just said, a uh, temporary fix for me anyway, is just to warm up the black uh, where the LCD is, uh, where the cable comes through and there's a, I think there's a little chip there if I remember. So I mentioned I can do a, a little bit of a video for him. Him and this other guy asked, so I thought I'll put it on my page, on my, on my channel, in case anybody else is interested. I'm not saying this is the right way of doing it, it's just, it's worked for me. The display's no good anyway, so I'm thinking I'm not really damaging anything else, so if it does go wrong, but you can see now the line. So you can warm it up, and it, it'll go all right for a while. It lasted about a month or two for me, you know. Uh, but when you turn it straight back on, sometimes it's all of them are okay, sometimes it's a bit missing, so you have to re-warm it up again. But I'll just take it apart, and if I remember how to do it, it's been a while, and then just show you how I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, but it's worked for me anyway, so it might work for somebody else. Right, hopefully I'm going to show you now how I've taken apart. If I can remember, say it's been about a year and a half, two years since I've done this, so you have to kind of, it's a blind, lead a blind, you're not allowed to say that anymore. So, two screws on the back. We have to watch out, there's ribbon on the back here, so. I know we've teed off from here. There's a little clip there, you just got to pull out. Just um, make sure you push that out first before you just pull the ribbon. Get rid of that, and then we can unplug this here. And there's two screws to get the board out. One over this side. And then one over here, I think, yep. Yeah. And then there's two there, that's for the LCD, like the frame. So we can do that and take them out now. There's, I think they're a bit small, if I remember. Yeah, just, I don't know why, I don't know if they're about the same size. Or I put them in the wrong place last time, who knows. So now that should lift out. So we're taking that out there. And we just push this through here. Okay, now we don't have to desolder this here and leave our arm for doing this. So there's the there's that other screw. Hopefully you can see this on the camera, I don't know. Now that clips off at the bottom there. And then you can just fold that over, there you go. So ah yeah, so there you go, there's the like the chip there. So there's one, I couldn't remember. And then so I'll just go get the gun. Back in a minute. Right, okay, sorted now. Because you're because I'm in a fully equipped amateur radio um, station and I've got all the right equipment, I've knit the wife's hair dryer, so I'll just do <laughs> so. I'll just use that. Um, it's what I've used before and it's worked before, so we'll go again, eh? Now, I've, I've, I always put a bit of a tin, I don't even need to, not just first keep the heat off there, but we'll see, eh? Try that for now. See if that's made a difference. So I'll let it cool down, then I'll come back with it uh, turned on. 
Right, so there you go. 30 seconds that was. It's better, but there's still some missing. So I'll do it again and see if it comes any better. So, as far as I can tell, just there. Then a bit of the U there, is there? Yeah, maybe there. So I'll um, I'll do it again and come back. That was about 30 seconds then with the air dryer. So let's try again. A bit more heat this time, a bit closer. So let's try that. Right, so there you go, another quick warm up there. Now we've only got two out now. Just that line there and that line there. I could probably live with that actually, it's fine. So yeah, you're just missing the USB off, so we GSB them on now. <laughs> uh, so it's there, so on the zero there and that two there. So there you go, that's it really. How long it'll last you for, I have no idea. I think it's been a month or two for me, it could st gradually start going, but it costs you nothing to do it, you know, so that's usual for me now. Whereas before, it, it wasn't. It's was quite difficult to understand what's going on, especially if you don't know the radio, which I don't, the 857 to be fair. Um, I'm more like on really, so if you, if you know the radio, you'll be okay, but... Um, so I don't know if that's been useful for anybody, and I, I know I say, I'm not saying it's the right way of doing it, definitely not, but... You know, it uh, it's worked for me. There you go, I might, I might plug this radio in a bit actually now for it to ever go. So, there you go anyway. Maybe I'll help you out, maybe you won't. Need to know anything, just drop us a message, no problem at all. Catch you later.